Hello and thank you for joining me today for this Geza course. Today in this video, we will create a 3D model of the coupling. On the left hand side image, I have provided the drawing of this coupling and the required dimensions. Before starting 3D modeling, make sure you are present in the 3D modeling workspace. You can check that by going to this quick access toolbar or from the status bar, clicking on this gear shape icon, you can check your workspace. So here we are currently in the 3D modeling workspace. From this coupling image, you can check that from top circular geometry is available. So we will start our drawing with the circle. To select the tool circle, type C, press enter. First, I will define the center point randomly and then provide the radius of the innermost circle to be 11, press enter. Now zoom to the extent to get the better view of your geometry. Again, I will zoom out. Now type C, press enter to use the circle. Hover your cursor over the perimeter of the circle to get the center point. Make sure you have enabled some of the important object snap tools so that you will get important points. I will choose the center point and now enter the second radius 14, press enter. Now again press enter to use the same tool. Select the center point and enter radius 17. I will again zoom out to get the better view. By looking at the top view of coupling, you can see that radius of outermost circle is 26. So again press enter to use the same tool, specify the center and now enter radius 26. After drawing all these reference circles, now we need to create the circles at the angle of 45 degree and which have the center position on the reference circle having radius 26. To get the reference point of these smaller circles having radius 2.5 and 6, first we will draw the lines at the angle of 45 degree. For that we will first activate the polar tracking option from the status bar and here click on the right hand side arrow and select the option 45, 90, 135. That means it provides the tracking of angle in the interval of 45. Now activate the polar tracking tool. To use the line tool, type L and press enter. Specify the first point as the center of these circles. And here, when you move your cursor, you can see that you are provided with the dashed green lines as a reference line at 45 degree angle. So I will draw the line crossing all these circles. Press enter to deactivate this tool. Now at the intersection of outermost circle and line, we need to create two circles having radius 2.5 and 6. So to activate the circle tool, type C, press enter. Select the center point as the intersection of line and outermost circle. Now enter radius 2.5, press enter. Again press enter to use the same tool, specify the same center point. And now enter radius as 6 and press enter. Now looking at the image, you can see that we need to provide the fillet radius of 7 between the circle having radius 22.5 and the circle having radius 6. So first we will draw the circle having radius 22.5. Press enter to use the same tool again. Specify the center point. And now provide radius 22.5 and press enter. To provide the fillet radius, we need to use fillet tool. For that, type F and press enter. To specify radius, type R, press enter. Now specify the fillet radius as 7, press enter. And now we need to select the objects between which we need to provide the fillet. So first, I will select the circle having radius 6. And next, select the circle having radius 22.5. Here you can see fillet is created between these two circles. Again repeat the same process to get the fillet on the left hand side. Press enter to use the same tool. We have already specified the radius as 7 so simply we select these two objects. So first I will select the smaller circle and then select the circle with radius 22.5. Now to clear the geometry as per requirement select all the objects by pressing Ctrl plus A and use trim tool to remove the unnecessary lines. Type TR and press enter. Now we will remove the unnecessary lines. You can remove the lines by directly clicking on the lines or by using the window tool.
After removing possible lines, press enter. Now again select the remaining unnecessary lines. Select each and every line and delete it. Now we do not require the reference of outermost circle. So again we will select it and delete it. Next we require the same geometry on the all four sides. So we need to use the tool array to create the pattern. To use the tool array type array and press enter. Now select all the objects for which you want to create the pattern. Either you can select each and every object individually or you can select the object by using window. After selecting object press enter. We want to have the polar array so select polar. Now specify the center point. Next we want to have the four items so select four. Press enter and close array. Once you move your cursor over the outer geometry, you can see that all the patterns are grouped as a one. That means it is the single object. To create the individual object, we need to use the option explode. To use that tool, first select entire geometry by pressing Ctrl plus A. Now type explode and press enter. Again move your cursor over this outer geometry and now you will see that each and every entity is individual. Now again to remove the unnecessary lines select entire geometry by pressing Ctrl plus A type TR to use the trim tool press enter and now remove the unnecessary lines. After removing unnecessary lines press enter using the combination of different tools we have created the top view of our coupling. Using the view cube now we will see our geometry in three dimension in southwest direction. From the front view we can see that now our design has this step like structure and each and every step have different height. Height of the base is 3 mm. Now to convert this 2D design into 3D we will use the tool press pull. You can find this tool from home ribbon and in modeling panel press pull tool is available. Using this tool you can provide the walls to the bounded areas. Make sure to use this tool you must have the closed boundary for your object. So I will select this tool. Now move your cursor over the outer boundary. Left click. As you left click now you are prompted to specify the extrusion height. Here our height from the base is 3. So I will type 3 and press enter. Now press enter to deactivate this tool. To get the better 3D view I will change the visual style from 2D wireframe to shaded with edges. And here you will see that automatically holes are subtracted from the extruded design. Now again we will use the press pull tool. Select it. Here we will pull the next circle to the height of 3 plus 5.5 that is 8.5. I will select the bounded area of circle and provide the height as 8.5. Press enter. Again we will press pull the innermost circle and we will select the bounded area. After selecting it we need to specify the height and here the height of this circle is 8.5 plus 3.5 that is 12. Type 12 press enter. Again press enter to deactivate this tool. Now move your cursor over the different part of these geometries and you can see that all these parts are different. So to join all this part we can use the tool union. Type union and press enter to use this tool. Now select all the objects that you want to join. So I will select the base then next circle and the innermost circle. After selecting all these press enter. Now again move your cursor over any of the part and you can see that all the parts are highlighted at a time. That means now all the parts are combined as a single object. Here we created the 3D coupling using this top and front view and almost all the required modification have been done. If you look at the front view last one modification is remaining and that is we need to provide the fillet between the base and the outer circle. So to provide the fillet type F press enter to use the fillet tool. Now again type R to define the radius and specify the radius as 1.5 and press enter. Now move your cursor to the boundaries between these two objects and once the edge is highlighted select it and now press enter and again press enter and here you can check that fillet of radius 1.5 is provided between these two objects. 
So finally, we have created the coupling with all the required modification and we also learned about the press pull tool. You can also create 2D drawing from this 3D drawing and for that we have already covered one specific video. And to create 2D drawing, you can go to this layout option and then provide the modification as per requirement. I have already created 2D drawing from this 3D drawing so I will open another file named coupling and here you can see that I have used the ISO A1 layout and using the third angle drafting I have placed front view, top view, side view and the 3D design of our coupling. I hope you get the idea how you can create the 3D model from the 2D available data. You can create any of the design including your mechanical components also using this tool and the limitation of this tool is your imagination. Keep practicing all the 2D and 3D tools so that you will have better command to create any of the complex geometries.